Hello there and welcome. In this video, we will show you how to download the Parent Square app onto your mobile device. If you have an Android, you will need to locate your Play Store. And if you have an Apple device, you will need to locate your App Store. Once located, go ahead and click on that. In the search bar, you will type in Parent and Parent Square should come up. If not, just type in the whole word. And this is the app that you are looking for, the Parent Square app. Go ahead and install that. And just a quick note while that's installing, this will possibly open up into my personal Parent Square account. Um, only because I already had the app, I uninstalled it for training purposes. So you'll see me probably log out um, just to show you what it should look like when you guys log in. So I'm going to go ahead and click open. And yes, it has me automatically logged in. So I'm going to go ahead and go to accounts and sign out. And when you originally open the Parent Square app, this is what will appear. And here, where it says email or cell phone number, you will enter either one, the email or phone number that is associated to your student that you provided to the school. If you are unaware or unsure what email or phone number you provided, you can um, check Aries Parent Portal if you have that app. And if not, you can always contact the school. Um, but it probably would be best to go ahead and make at least one attempt with either a, a email or a phone number that you believe you would have used. So I'm going to go ahead and start off with the phone number first. So this is a phone number that I have associated to a student in demo data that we created. I enter the phone number, I select continue. Here it's asking me to enter a verification code. And here's my notification saying it has sent me a verification code. So I'm going to go to my text messages and pull this notification up. And this is the um, verification code that is needed. And there's no way of just pasting it, probably because I'm sharing it on a computer. So I need to memorize that. So the code is 7C9, let's see, 7C9, I believe it was V, X9, X9, and then you will select continue. Here you will create a password. And then you will confirm the password. And then you will select register. This next section, you will need to confirm your account information. This is just a step making sure that the system has your correct um, contact information and that it's associated to the correct student. So here, my phone number has already been verified because that's what I used to create the account. So now I need to verify that this is my child and she is in fact my child. So I will hit unconfirmed and then I will select confirm and it has now created a check, a green check mark. So I'm good to go. Now let's say this wasn't your child. You can select this is not me, but this is my child. So I will select, yes, this is me. Yes, I am positive this is me. And it has now been confirmed and I now have access to Parent Square. Now I will show you how to create the account using an email address. So let me go ahead and there we go. I'm going to go ahead and remove 
this here and just do it all over again, even though it's probably still going to log me in. So I will type in Parent Square in the App Store. I will select Install. I will then select Open, and it does. It automatically logs me in. So again, when you select Open for the first time, this is what it should look like. So now I'm going to log in using an email address instead of a phone number. Select continue. And again, the verification code. And this should be emailed to you. So I'm going to go to my emails. And I should be receiving an email saying that the account has been created and it just might take a while I'm going to refresh this up oh, here it is this is the new one I'm going to select that this is the verification code I'm going to copy that and I'm going to enter it here. And that is not what I wanted. Okay. So it is VP7Y, VP7Y, WY. Continue. Create a password for this student. And then select register. And my passwords do not match. It's best to start over if that ever happens. Right, and here is my contact information as a parent. My email address has been verified because that is the um, way I logged in the information I used to log in or create this account. This time, my child is um, Gina, and I have not confirmed her, so I'm going, I'm going to select unconfirmed, and then I'm going to select confirm. And she has now confirmed that she is my child. Now, if she wasn't my child, once again, you select this is not me. But in this case, this is demo data. She is my child. I select yes, this is me. Yes, I am positive this is me. And I am now logged in. And I am now the parent of Gina Walker. And this is how you create your Parent Square account downloading the Parent Square app. I hope you found it useful.